creating opportunity. Had I not called this person and started this process and put myself out there as the one who makes the phone ring, the most expensive sale in the history of Florida, done by me. You okay? We have a serious problem. There's gum on my loafer. Oh my god. Dude, these are suede Todd's loafers. You can't get the, uh, now the phone's, it's like the police probably. What? Hello. Listen, I'm here in Tampa. It's beautiful, it's great. We're in clear water. We're doing the Serena by the Sea event. We're gonna see a sick, amazing new condo development down here. It's gonna be awesome. Give a little keynote. So I'm just trying to stay positive, but I've been at this for like six hours. You just sit on the other side. He's gonna go in the front so he can shoot back. And so Josh Flagg and I would go first. <laughs> Okay, oh, all right, sorry. let's go. Back to New York, oh, we're out. Over the course of his career, he sold over $4 billion in real estate and is known for breaking market records. And tonight, he's joining us to talk about the future of real estate. Let's give it up for the one and only Ryan Serhant, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> so, thanks, man. All right, does this work? Oh, what's up? Oh man, sorry, I haven't been in front of a group of people in a really long time that was a really high decibel. I'm a strong believer in the fact that I'm not gonna wait for opportunity. I'm making opportunity for myself today. I'm not gonna wait for the phone to ring, I make the phone ring. So people weren't buying and selling in New York City. I start my company in September, right, 2020. Everyone's like, wow, really? Are you okay? You're really gonna do this? Oh man. Wow, you're definitely gonna fail. And so what did I do? I saw what was happening in Florida and I started calling all of my clients because I don't wait for the phone to ring, I make it ring. But you guys are the best. This is super, super exciting. I got to go to the sales center today for Serena by the Sea, um, which is a killer, killer space. So it's 46 units, what is it? 80. 80, Ooh, okay. 80 in total, we only have 34 left. Yeah. Big pool. Saltwater pool, Serena's uh, raised from 15 feet from the street level, so it's super private. Adrian, can you see that? We never, ever, ever have little people. Super chow. I'm waiting for the open call. Sorry, wow me. Our refrigerator is sentient. But this is the New York model. Just a fly, just so you can see. This is how the South views New York. Dark, <laughs> dark and moody. The south corner, you have a jacuzzi, you have your bar area. Your glass glass railing, and as you walk through over here, sauna and its own private um, couples massage room, hairdresser, nail salon. Great. So we'll see you guys at five o'clock. Yeah, let's do that. Where should I go? Right where you're at. So that was a you don't want to you don't want to cuddle with a shark. Like you know that thing wants to kill you. What's a John project? I don't think that the housing market ever truly recovered from September 15th, 2008. I think that the subprime mortgage collapse um, uh, crushed consumer confidence in purchasing a home um, and never really came back. For the first time in my entire career, since last June, let's say, we're now dealing with people who need to move and people who want to move. So we've got 13 years almost of pent up want, right? 13 years of pent up want demand, which it does take seven to 10 showings to sell a home to someone who needs it because they're gonna be very, very, very specific, right? They're very cautious. They don't wanna make the wrong decision. This is for their family. This is for their in-laws, you know, whatever. Now it's, that's really, really great. That's gonna be awesome for my life. And I can see myself there in the future. 
Bye. Sure, I'll see you in there. I know everyone was talking. I am in Salt Lake like Sirhan, so I'm excited. I'm in your circle. I Are you? What's yeah? Sure, let's do it. So I just wanted to know how what what's your confidence um, behind it? Like, how do you stay so confident, and how do you think they? to keep backing up your decisions that you take, like the tough decisions. Yeah, so for me, like there's only two outcomes, right? There's either it works or it doesn't work. There's no in-between. The in-between is on the way to it working, okay? So it doesn't work when I say it's not gonna work. And my goal is to stay so busy that I'm too busy to fail. Right, so I'm doing too many things, I'm, I'm building a team, I'm constantly focused on winning the race. That way I'm like a horse with blinders on, you know? Like I don't see everybody else, I don't deal with all the other shit, I just want to do as much as I possibly can. And if I stop, then of course, right, then I'll fail and then it won't work. But if you just focus on that path ahead and you stay, stay like laser sharp, anything is possible. And don't worry about what everybody else says. Right? Really, really, really important. And then project yourself into the future. Right? That's what that's what BME is all about. Like decide who you're gonna be and actually write it down. Right? Like I heard you tonight, but like this is this is me in three years. And I carry it in my pocket. And I might change it in a month, right? But like keep reminding yourself about yourself in the future. And then you will become that person. And then in three years you'll be even bigger than what you thought you were gonna be, and then you'll do it again and again and again. It's a way to stay focused. So do you think the success you get from the achieving goals is gives you more happiness or is it the pursuit of it is what gives you more happiness personally for you? It's, the, it's always the fight. It's always the fight. Right? Yeah. It's the pursuit. Because then once you get it, it's always anticlimactic. Yeah, yeah. Like I sold a house for $130 million. It's like, oh. <laughs> but it was the doing the deal, getting it all done. You have a second. Yeah. You want opportunity? Let's go. That was January, a couple months ago. Nah, I don't want to buy. Okay, what about Florida? Florida's great, let's create opportunity. Let's go, let's go. Well, I don't know, I'm not a Florida guy. Okay, what do you pay in taxes? <laughs> right? Let's look at Florida, have you ever thought about it? Ah, send me some listings. Okay, what's your budget? I don't know, five, 10, 20, just send me what the best are. Okay, great. If you talk to me that way, mm, I know where I'm going. So I start sending him things and he likes them. Miami, not so much, let's go to Palm Beach. When do you want to go? Thursday. What day is it today? Tuesday. Okay, got it. Wednesday night, memorize the Palm Beach market. Thursday, we fly down, start seeing things. There's one listing, 535 North County, 140 million. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Why not? It's my wow moment, right? What's the worst that can happen? We leave, right? What's he gonna do, punch me? Actually, on the second floor, we get upstairs and he takes me by my, my, my shirt and throws me up against the wall. He's like, why did you bring me here? And I freaked out. Like, stomach, it's like, oh my God. I, this might be where I die. At least, at least it's a $140 million house. He's like, I want it. Like, oh, shit. And what do you do, right? As a great salesperson, I didn't say, okay, great, let's go. Said, no, you don't. Nah, -uh. the pull, right? Pull the deal away. I only brought you here for fun. We're gonna go see a bunch of others. You're not buying this place. You were looking to rent on the Upper East Side two days ago. What are you talking about? This is great, let's go, let's go to the next one. We go to the next one, it's $50 million. He walks in and out, he's like, blah. The listing broker looks at me and he's like, this is why I don't show to people from New York. Like, listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, 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 it's not me, it's not me, it's him. Go to the next place, I don't like it. Go to the next place, stop. We don't wanna move, we don't wanna go. We don't wanna see anymore. Okay, are you mad? No, go get me the first one. The one for, the, 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 the one for 140? Yeah. And in my head, what am I thinking? I'm not even thinking about the deal. I'm like, holy mother of God creating opportunity. Had I not called this person and started this process and put myself out there as the one who makes the phone ring, I would not be here right now talking to a guy who's sitting really far away from me because he is freaked out about COVID, about going and getting that deal. Long story short, said, you figure out the price, come back to me when it's done. Okay, all right, even numbers, we like eights, we offered 118, they came back to us, we did the deal for 132,880 and we closed 10 days later. Right? 
the most expensive sale in the history of Florida, done by me. There was a pandemic in 1918 as well, and there was something called the Roaring Twenties, right? And history, as we've seen, repeats itself over and over and over again. Um, so, you know, things will correct, but I think they will take some time. At the end of next year, where do you want to be? If you're an agent in this room, think about that right now. Hey, I, I do this thing where I write down, well, you're not gonna be able to see it, but um, I was showing to you, this guy right over here before, I, I write down on a piece of paper where I want to be in the future. This is me three years out and I keep it in my pocket. No joke. And when I touch my leg, I'm like, what is that? Oh, right, that's me. That's me in the future where I want to be. And it's real and it works. You want a little tip. If you remember anything from what I said tonight, try that. Put it in your purse, put it in your pocket. Write down, where do you want to be? How much do you want to have sold? And just remember, it is okay to live. So let's live as hard as we possibly can, because guess what? We are all still here, and we are still here in Florida. So thank you very much. Let's give it again. Give it up again. Oh, what? How do you feel it went? I crushed it. You did crush it. Did I? I think so. Was that was that the greatest keynote you've ever seen me give? I don't know about the greatest, but it's 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 up there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, I mean, we're traveling again. Life's back. Dude, this is the first event and trip we've done since COVID, and they're starting back up. Yes, I had the vaccine, but uh, I love that project. I love Florida. I love the whole Valor team. Um, this has been awesome, and I'm super excited that we're back, baby. We're back. We're back on the road. We're back doing this. We're out on the streets. Let's go. Vlog is a lot.